Someone told me about this place. They told me, as I was walking down the canal, they stopped me and they said, have you been to this place? It was quite a, an unusual interaction because it was on a day where I was filming some stuff and it was the first day I was filming stuff outside of my home and I felt incredibly nervous about it and I felt incredibly nervous about the fact that people might judge what I was doing. And this lovely old woman stopped me and said, had I been to this place where I'm standing now? Where I live is fairly suburban and there's not a huge amount of nature about it. There's the canal, which is nice, but you know, that's fairly well built up and, and leads into the cities. But this place is like a little green gem in the middle of an otherwise fairly industrial and rough around the edges area. A little nature reserve that you wouldn't even know exists unless someone pointed you in the direction. So I thought I had to come here and check it out. So that's what I'm doing. Coming here to get out of the house and to try and film some content for the Charm Diaries and talk to you guys about what's going on with me at the moment. I still feel slightly uncomfortable being outside, but I figure the longer I leave it, the worse it's going to get for me. So here we are in the middle of a little wooded area, in the middle of a rough around the edges industrial area of the West Midlands talking about what it's like to make content full time. Here's what it's like, this is interesting. This morning I got up and had a shower. I dropped my daughter off at nursery and I decided that I was gonna go for a long walk and film some videos. That's what full time content creation is like and there is nothing more exciting than that. I'm getting absolutely bit to fuck by mosquitoes by the way. This is the kind of dedication it takes. They talk about the fact that there's that old quote where they say you, success is getting up in the morning, going to bed at night and doing exactly what you want to in between those two times. And I think that's absolutely right because I've had money, I've had uh, big job titles, I've had teams of people. I've not been at the highest level of business but I've been at a decent level, I earned a good amount of money and I had uh, a decent amount of responsibility in a company that had grown from, you know, 10, 20 people up to 100 at its height. And I didn't find happiness in any of that. And I've just realized right at this moment that me being able to get up this morning and say, I'm going to film some content today, at a little forest area that I heard about from an old woman on a canal, that is fucking happiness. That is what I'm looking for. I'm so <laughs> just overwhelmingly happy with the fact that I've just figured that out. Anyway, let's walk a bit further around and see what we can find. You realize by the way, I've got to come all the way back down here to get the camera and I'm only doing this to get this shot. So just remember that when you're watching this. Every time I start one of these, I'm never 100% sure what I'm gonna talk about. There's always a fear with these vlogs that I'm gonna run out of things. But just the, the act of actually getting up and committing to creating these, you discover things to talk about. I was talking to my dad the other day, he's a very successful person. He said he had a friend who decided he was going to write an article every day for a month. He said when he was just doing one article a week or one article a month, it was really difficult. But when he did one a day, he just found something every single day that he had to commit to doing that. And it seems like a lot. And I've done the same thing. I've said, certainly with like short form content, I've said, I'm going to produce two to three videos a day. I'll come from a background where you know, producing one video in an advertising agency might take weeks or months. So to go, if I told them that, that I'm gonna produce three videos a day, I think I was absolutely insane. Most agencies, marketing people, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> and I mean that in the nice possible way. And I've been there, I've been one of the people that I don't know what I'm doing. 
So when it comes to this short form content and stuff, and this is part of my thought process of like what the future might look like for me. So I love creating content. Uh, I love the gaming space. Um, but I've always said that I'm like, have like a really eclectic group of things that I enjoy doing. Like I used to describe myself as a Renaissance man because there wasn't one thing I wanted to commit to forever. And the gaming stuff and the, the content stuff is of, it's the longest I've committed to something in a consistent way. Apart from jobs where they pay me to be there. And I've been really happy with that. Uh, but part of my thinking is that I've learned so much about producing content en masse, producing content very quickly, producing content that can go viral. I've produced viral content produce content that's very not viral, but I've produced viral content. And in that short period of time where I've really committed myself to producing a lot of content very quickly, I've learned a lot. And there's lots of brands and companies, when you combine that with like my knowledge of marketing that I've gained over the past 15 years, could probably benefit from that. So that's one of my thought processes is, processes, one of my thought processes is that as well as doing the content, I could support and help brands with how they produce their content efficiently and uh, en masse and produce you know, that amount of content each day. Anyway, it's worth thinking about. My arm's hurting now, so I'm gonna walk for a minute. I'm not filming myself. Confession time. Part of the reason <laughs> that I wanted to find a wooded area is because it makes me feel a little bit like I'm in the Lord of the Rings which I think is, is probably the biggest fantasy that I have. It, I feel like a hobbit. I feel like a hobbit on my way to Mordor to destroy the ring. Look, we'll do some cinematic shots and we'll end with me being Samwise Gamgee. I feel like this looks pretty cinematic, don't you? Can't really see, but we'll do it. I made a promise, Mr. Frodo. A promise. Don't you leave him, Samwise Gamgee. And I don't mean to. I don't mean to. Anyway, look, that's the end. That's the end of today's Charm Diaries. I don't really know what this is about, but it was nice to get out and do a walk. Look, I'm basically in a bush to get this shot here. I think it looks nice with the greenery in the background. I'm in the middle of a little wooded area. If anyone comes across this, it's gonna look very weird, but I'm here and I'm doing it. And I think that's the main thing. This is what I'm discovering is I've just got to do the work. I've just got to be out here. I've got to be filming. I've got to be writing. I've got to be uh, taking pictures. I've got to be producing content. I've got to be transparent. I've got to be open. But there are moments where I'm in utter panic and utter dread about what the future looks like for me and there are moments like this where I'm absolutely elated with the freedom and the creativity that I have the privilege to deal with at the moment and I'm just trying to find balance between the two so I appreciate you guys I'll see you on the next one